Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Hermes Dry White Wine. It's a blend of Roditis and Savatiano. It is no vintage, it's 11.5% alcohol by volume, and I paid $11 for it at uh, Total Wine. So, uh, oh, and look, this is nice. Normally I have to kind of, uh, man, oh, it's from Greece, by the way, I can't remember if I said that. Uh, it, I normally have to manhandle the little, uh, capsule, but they have a little thing to make it easy to pull. I, I appreciate that. Uh, ne next time just make it a screw top. It's way more convenient. All right, so from a color standpoint, I'm gonna give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. Right on the nose. So, oh, that's kind of interesting. So I'm getting a bit of peach, getting a little bit of pear, getting a little bit of red apple, like lime peel. The other thing it smells like is, um, well, for lack of a better way of saying it, hair that smells like it's been under a hair dryer, like on hot for too long. Not that it's strong, but it's noticeable. Anyway, how does it taste? This wine is off dry. Wow, this wine's a whole bunch of contradictions. Uh, in, like on the nose, I was expecting something that was gonna be like light and crisp. On the palate, it's way more dense than I thought it would be. Like I thought this was gonna be a light bodied wine. This is a medium bodied wine. It's off dry, low alcohol. It's got a short finish. So this wine has a weird mix of qualities because it has this quality that's kind of like a Viognier in terms of it kind of having a little bit of like an unctuous texture to it, a little bit oily, uh, also a little bit more dense. Then it has still a lighter quality to the palate and the fruits on the palate, kind of like, well, I guess the best thing I could most describe it closely to is um, the uh, Chris, K-R-I-S uh, Cuvée. Uh, it's like a, a Pinot Grigio blend. It kind of has those qualities to it. Luckily, you, while you can barely smell the burnt hair on the nose, you don't taste it at all on the palate, so that's nice. Well, I think that's all the qualities, if I recall. If not, I'll probably end up covering it in the Blake, which is where we're going now. So in terms of balance, um, I actually think, oh, that was the acid. Like I said, I'm gonna cover it here. I, I'm gonna go ahead and give you half a point for the balance because I think it needs more acid. Uh, it has this, like I said, it has a more medium body, but it also is lacking some acid that I would hope would kind of give those flavors a bump, give that texture of the wine a little bit more of a, um, well, a balance, which is why I'm giving you half a point here. So moving on to length. Uh, length, short finish, 0.25. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium on the palate, half a point. And in terms of complexity, um, I don't know if people would consider burnt hair complexity. Um, in my case, I'm not tasting it, and I, I get it on the nose, it's also something that I really am not kind of looking forward to when I smell it. Um, but I'm gonna look at the other aspects of this wine because it, it, like I said, it's not there to the point where I would say it was a fault. Um, it, on that note, I'm gonna give you half a point for complexity because of the range of primary elements. So you're very close to being good, but I'm gonna give you okay. And really the thing about this wine, and this is, it, you would be solidly good if it was not for the lack of acid. Even if you take out the body itself, there is a residual sugar effect that's there that needs that acid to help cut it down a little bit. And I, I'm not saying that you had to make this wine dry or anything like that. I actually kind of like the fact that it is off dry, but the thing about it is it needs that acid. It really does. Anyway, this is Mr. Wirt with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Hermes White dry. I didn't even notice it said dry. It's not dry. It's off dry. Uh, <laughs> white wine from Greece. I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.